Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner of Solani. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Friday, guys. It's the weekend. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is because I know it's going to fly by and I'll wake up and it'll be Monday. But I'm thankful for today. So let's just do that. Be thankful. All right. So we are here with another speed build. And well, you guessed it, Sulani. And I was inspired by all the builders in the community. Um, they were posting some of the most beautiful creations and I wanted to jump in on the bandwagon and um, I don't know, insert myself into an area that I really don't belong, but oh well, here we are, letting it fly. So my inspiration for this particular build, nothing. Not a thing. I was just kind of going with it and I went back and forth quite a bit trying to change things up to make sure um, it was to my liking. But this little house, this little bungalow gave me some trouble. But the story behind this bungalow I call the paper pusher paradise. Um, I imagine that the Sim that would live here is um, someone that is stuck in the office all the time, like myself. Um, they're sitting at a computer, you know, crunching numbers, pushing paper around. Not so much paper anymore, but yeah, there's a lot of red tape and a lot of policies. Um, just a lot of monotony and you know if you work in an office or if you don't if you just you know have the regular uh nine to five sometimes you know you just need to get away well this particular sim that would live here um is fed up with their job uh, it was fed up with the the mundane life that he or she is living um is ready to leave the city and decides to you know pack up and just leave the sim would have an aspiration of becoming a photographer or is a photographer a phot photographer use your vowels brandy is a photographer um as a hobby but but dreams of making it a full-time career. So what better place than Solani because the uh, atmosphere is serene, the surroundings are picturesque, and the people are vibrant. So he has or she has so many different subjects to take advantage of with uh, their camera so this is a little bungalow that the, your sim would um, reside in and you'll see that it's not necessarily off the grid I I'm not too sure about the off grid um, and how it works with uh, the current game state because if you guys watch LGR um, he did say that some of the off grid um, gameplay doesn't really make sense so um, I decided that I was just going to make uh, allow the you know regular I guess every day I don't know what I'm saying guys it has electricity okay there's running water there's electricity there's a shower the showers outside because if you live in Solani it's the perfect place to shower outside and from my understanding you can actually bathe in a waterfall close by so I haven't done that yet but that sounds really cool so look I have a confession to make this build changed post recording like by a bit like I changed the the roofing a little uh, I wasn't really satisfied with the way it looked and I wanted to try the skylight. I tried it when I was while I was recording, but it wasn't working out and I know I was doing something wrong. So I went back, I thought about it. I was in bed early this morning thinking like, okay, how do I do this again? And I went back and I tried it and it worked out perfectly. So I did change the roofing, which caused me to have to change the build or widen the build a little bit and do some adjustments here and there. But it worked out, I really like it. I like how it turned out. Um, 
Also, there is no kitchen table on the inside of this bungalow. It's on the outside on the patio. You'll see I put a picnic table. I thought it would be nice. Uh, I would imagine that the sim that lives here or sims because there's enough room for two, two adults, no children. Uh, they would spend a lot of time outside, especially if you're if you're a photographer, you're definitely going to spend time outside. And when you get home, you, you know, take a shower outside. How many times I'm gonna say outside? You're gonna take a shower, you're gonna sit on your patio or in your lounge chair, drink cold soda and relax, you know, enjoy it. But if you prefer to eat or you prefer your Sims to eat inside, you could probably adjust the layout or, you know, the furnishings as you please. I also added a fireplace and you're probably like, why do you have a fireplace on an island? Look, I used to live in Texas and when I moved there, my apartment had a fireplace and I was like, what is this fireplace doing here? It's like 80 degrees all year round. It's not, it actually gets cold there. So I would imagine that even on an island, they have cold nights, especially when it's raining and it's in the colder months, it does get chilly. So I would imagine that you'd want to, you know, light up the fireplace and make it a cozy night. And plus it's romantic. If you've got two Sims living here and with the island vibe, and you know how when you go to Hawaii or the Caribbean, there's just a little extra something, something that makes you wanna do some things. You wanna, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep it PG here, but you know what I'm saying? You know, it's the whole environment, it's the people, it's the music, it's the food, it's an aphrodisiac. So the fireplace was just a perfect addition to kind of add that vibe, that coziness to the home. And then, you know, when those rainy nights, when you guys are cuddling up, yeah, okay. I also uh, did not put a TV here because I feel like if you're living on this island, you're going to do as the Romans do and spend most of your time outside, especially if your Sim is a photographer or if they should prefer to be an artist, they're going to want to enjoy the culture for what it is. They're going to want to take in the scenery. So what do you do when you're on an island? You go fishing, you go swimming, you you know, swim with the dolphins, you go look for a mermaid or collect seashells, things like that. So I did not add the TV, but again, if you want to adjust this build, there's you know, room to add a TV, but I did put a radio in there. So your Sims at least have that to entertain themselves at night along with a fireplace. I mean, it just gives it a good um, mood, right? That being said, I'm gonna kindly see myself out. But before I go, if you're not a member of the family, the Ohana, by all means, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the bell so you know every time I upload. I do upload thrice weekly. Also, be kind, give me a like, and share this video. You've been amazing. Until next time, ciao.